Hi, my name's Daddy and... Oh, hang on, I've forgotten something. What is it? Oh yeah, my coffee. <laughs> of course. Um, right, so I thought I'd share with you my special coffee making um, process. So first of all, you need some fantastic ground coffee. I don't know if you can see that on camera there, but this, I mean, this stuff, oh, can you smell that? This coffee is freshly ground and it's in a mug with the world's greatest daddy written on it, which is quite a compliment really, because I'm not the world's greatest daddy, but anyway, so we need that, we need a coffee pot, like a Bowdoin kind of thing, and they come all broken up, so the secret here is that that thing at the bottom there holds this, and then that gets pushed down as a sort of a, you know, just a sort of plunger, really? Hey, you probably know this anyway. You guys are experts in making coffee. But anyway, so I'd share that with you. Right, then, uh, yeah, then what we do is, uh, ah, would you believe it or not, coffee goes in there. Always, I like strong coffee in the morning. I need some water, excuse me a second. So it mustn't be boiling hot. Ah, must have been. Mustn't be boiling hot, of course, because it needs to. Um, yeah, it needs, it needs to. Uh, you don't want it to burn the hot. Okay. Yeah. So mix it all up, and all the lovely oils and flavours and all that sort of stuff come out of the hot. So I don't know if you can see that there's probably too much, but that's good by me. I like to go back to coffee. This this is proper level six coffee, by the way. The beans I should have mentioned. Um, I don't know where they're from, but they, they taste very nice. Pop the plunger on. Little grill at the front there. You can see that. In it goes. Down it goes. Oh right. Probably a bit too quick, but you know. I want to. I want the coffee. I'm sure you guys want to see some flash. Sorry, it's blooms again. Yeah. Anyway, life happens. Right, okay. So mug over there, coffee over there. Oh, and um, <clears throat> yeah, put sugar in to taste really, I suppose. For me, that's just a little bit. There we go, that'll do. Sure I'll take the edge off it really. There we go, coffee with daddy. Who could ask for any more? Great, and there we go, lovely tasty coffee. It's probably going to be a bit too hot to drink right now. I'll just dry off this area here. Please excuse my domestic chores. Now, we were doing some clash, weren't we? Can I get this in place, do you think? Zoom that in. There we go. If I miss anything off, I, I apologise. My, my son is fast asleep like most teenagers are at this time in the morning. Well, actually, most teenagers are asleep to that lunchtime on Sundays. But anyway, right, uh, yeah, good morning. Hi, I'm Daddy. I, I play Clash of Clans sometimes. You may have heard of me. So, um, yeah, I just was just doing a raiding video. I'm going to be working away uh, for, um, for, you know, for the week, really. So um, there won't be any more videos until next weekend. So I thought I'd just, just go ahead and just do one. Otherwise, you, I won't be doing one for a while. Well, not until next week, anyway. So, uh, what has happened today? Well, uh, you know, yesterday my my wizard tower has finished upgrading, which is great. Another ugly one. Uh, I started the um, archer tower, which is there. Um, I've got two days on, on on that, and I think the next one is the yeah. There we go. Nineteen hours left on that. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking somewhere down the line it's going to be an update. Somewhere down the line, I'm going to have. I need to have eight million gold. Anyway, let's go. Let's go raiding. So I need to have eight million gold because my guess is that the mortar is going to be the most expensive item. <sighs> Air defense do good. Yeah, I'll carry on talking. So yeah, so I reckon the mortars are going to be quite expensive. Oh, oh, that'll do. Come on, hundred and seventy-eight thousand. Uh, right, where are we? Air defense. So. Crossbows, one down, one up. Is that right? 
Yeah, one up, one down. And you see Tesla's there. Let's see what's inside that tank castle. So I might need to commit a few troops. Ah, okay. Right, so I think we're going to have to let them bunch up a little bit, aren't we? You know how nasty uh, they are too, my lovely. Um, you know how nasty they are to, uh, to balloons, don't they? So just be a bit careful with it. Okay. Ah, go on. God, they're so flipping slow, aren't they? Come on. There we go. So that area is clear now, so we might as well just sort of, come on, you can do it. I really don't want to have to use another spell on this because it's just going to waste all the profit. And profit's what it's all about really, isn't it? Come on, there we go, you can do it. That's the main thing, just, just destroy those air defences as quick as you possibly can. He actually didn't have, he doesn't have very high level air defences, but they're pretty well placed actually, to be fair. Alright, any defences left for the server now? Yeah, there's a couple over there, but... Just get started on those, really. I don't think I need to waste any more troops, really. There, there we go. So yeah, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going over to Ireland for a few days, which is quite nice. So, uh, you know, I've got to say, Dublin is a fantastic town. Um, lovely people. I have, so, I have so much time for the Irish. I go over there probably. It's actually less than it was. At one point, I was going over once a month, but yeah, no, it's, it's really nice. You guys should go. It's particularly the west of Ireland, the Connemara. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm not going there that this time, but the Connemara is like um, it's like the Wild West. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a beautiful, gorgeous countryside, largely unspoiled. And they've got a, um, a field, would you believe it? It's a big, long, sort of freshwater, I think seven mile long freshwater sort of inlet. And uh, a place called Lanan, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Ah, there we go. Morning balloons, don't you just love them? Shame I had to use a spell, but it was either that or, you know, have them pop my balloons, so, you know, why not? Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And uh, yeah, now you know how to make coffee. <laughs> Aren't you glad? <laughs> Daddy showed you how to make coffee. You know, I sincerely apologise that's not meant to be patronising. I just thought it might be fun, that's all. Take care. Oh, by the way, um, if you have any better ways of making coffee, I'd love to hear them because I'm getting a bit bored with this way. Take care. And bye for now. If you spotted this, then you've got to the super secret bonus level. Uh, these are my oldest and best engaged um, fans, and I wanted to recognise them. Pro T. Swain, Extreme Magician, Moda Coaster, Liam Bennett, Tr Tybe Rodsdorf, Chris Frizzle, Danu Upriser, Bailey Yo, the CT565. You guys are amazing. You've been with me for almost a year now, um, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for... Um, sticking with me. Anyway, take care and bye.